Yes, I just wanted to bring to your attention we originally had two public hearings scheduled and advertised for this evening. Um, one of the items, the special use for heritage contracting services located in the Berkeley Voting District. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't get their signs posted on the property the 15 days as required by code prior. Um, so that one had to be pulled and it's now scheduled for your next meeting. Okay. All right, now we go to um, review and approval of amendments of August the 17th. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion, let it known by your vote. And the vote is six. Um, Ms. Parrish, unfinished business, do we have any? No. Anyone on the board know of any unfinished business that we have? Okay. Public hearings? Is this a CA160003? That we have? Yes, it is. Okay, That's thank correct. you. Good evening. Tonight's uh, only public hearing um, is part of an ongoing review and update to the zoning ordinance focused on overlay districts, specifically the intro statement in generally, um, as well as the dam break inundation zones, which would be in addition um, in our zoning ordinance. So today's public uh, here amendments apply to Division I generally within the zoning ordinance as well as Division Two a as I had mentioned pre um, previously. That's actually a new section of the zoning ordinance that we plan on um, proposed to add to the zoning ordinance. Um, with the dam break inundation zones, there are also associated amendments in Article Two, the definition section of the code um, that help explain some of the references within the um, language of Division Two a <clears throat> The addition of Division 2A to the zoning ordinance is meant to address Code of Virginia requirements pertaining to dam break inundation zones. This is an effort to update our codes and processes to ensure consistency with state code regulations. Localities um, such as including Orange County, Stafford County, Henrico already have these type of ordinances on their books. Um, again, uh, this is really a, a cleanup of our zoning ordinance as part of our, our comprehensive review of that with that project to make sure that our zoning ordinance and our processes are consistent with what's required by the Code of Virginia. The language regarding dam rake inundation zones that you see in front of you were actually adopted in the Code of Virginia back in 2008. Um, so it is a long time coming for our ordinance to catch up. I would say since 2008, the dam break inundation zones and the mapping of those zones um, has been an ongoing process because it is something by st state we've had to kind of engage in. Uh, this is a really good effort for us, though, to put it in our code and building into our processes to ensure that when we have application reviews, our planners and review staff and zoning can ensure that um, those bases specifically regarding these are covered. The draft ordinance uh, is simply a reference to the appropriate Code of Virginia requirements to be followed as part of the county's development review process in instances where development is proposed within the boundaries of mapped dam break inundation zones. Uh, the following slide you saw back in August when we brought this forward for a uh, public hearing authorization request, but I'll go through it again um, just for the public watching this evening as well. Dam break inundation zones I have mapped in red. Um, as I had stated back in August, some of these inundation zones that you see actually share our county border with Spotsylvania and Stafford or down with Louisa County. Um, generally speaking, these areas in red follow uh, stream bed corridors, basically, or river corridors. They're generally consistent within the FEMA flood zones as well that you see in blue. They generally follow the exact same corridors, their path of least resistance. If there's water rushing in one direction, it's going to go down the lowest topography down in the stream valleys. 
within Spotsylvania County, we have a number of these mapped, um, including Mott's Run Reservoir, uh, which it, there's a fairly small dam break and inundation zone um, w within the county before it actually hits the river. And then you could see a, a fairly sizable um, extent down the river itself if Mott's Run Dam were to, to uh, break. Hunting Run Reservoir is another one with a small um, dam break inundation zone that then hits the river and, and flows down. Hunting um, Keaton Run, um, hugging the boundary of Orange County and Spotsylvania. The Nye Reservoir um, downstream, um, heading all the way down to roughly the I-95 area, Route 1 I-95, it follows the Nye River. There is Fawn Lake Dam Break Inundation Zone, which, which still to this day kind of is shocking to me how the extent of it, but if that dam were to let go, the map Dam Break Inundation Zone takes that all the way down to Route 1 across the county uh, following the, the Poe River uh, corridor. And then all the, also at North Anna, um, you could see the map dam break inundation zone there. There is a little bit of deviation between the dam break inundation zones that you see and the FEMA flood zones, but generally speaking, those areas um, are do overlap. Um, I would say for the public watching this evening and for planning commissioners here tonight that our dam break inundation zones are mapped and available on our county interactive uh, GIS website online. So if somebody's interested in zooming in closer to see where dam break map dam break inundation zones are located, they can certainly find those online. They are available. So um, basically, the process involved with uh, dam break inundation zones that we would be engaged with is to start with a query to identify if development, as defined by the Virginia Code, is within a map dam break inundation zone. And um, just for reference, I actually brought tonight the specific definition of what development is because when we had our authorization request, there was some question about what that entailed. So as per the Code of Virginia, development means a tract of land developed or to be developed as a unit under single ownership or unified control, which is to be used for any business or industrial purpose, or is to contain three or more residential dwelling units. The term development shall not be construed to include any tract of land which will be principally devoted to agricultural production. So when county staff is looking to, to, to see whether we have to uh, basically advance this query up to the Department of Conservation and Re Recreation. Uh, we are looking for that term of development and whether that development is within the uh, map dam break inundation zone. From at that point, if we do find that, uh, within 10 days of application receipt by county staff, the Department of Conservation and Recreation is to be requested to make a determination by staff of potential impacts of the proposal on spillway flood standards requiring, required of the dam. The dam owner is also to be notified of development within the inundation zone. And then basically the, um, the burden then is shifted to the Department of Conservation and Recreation to come up with a determination. So following that 10 day window that staff has to get the, the, uh, the query over to the Department of DCR, DCR is given a 45 day window upon receipt of the request to provide comment. If they have no comment uh, results, um, it results in return to the to local government for our typical local review for site plans um, or our plat reviews. If DCR determines the development would change the spillway flood standards, the locality shall not permit development as defined by the Virginia Code or redevelopment unless plans are altered or payments are made to mitigate impacts. So really there's, there's, a, there's a double barrel way of this being addressed, the first being the site is re-engineered to ensure that the impacts, the downstream impacts of a dam break um, do not impact that, that impounding structure upstream and, and the impacts downstream. Secondly, if that is not the case, if they're not going for an engineered solution, there is a payment effort uh, that is made and coordinated with the state specifically. Um, the county isn't collecting these funds. There's, this, is a state, this is a state option for DCR. They're basically, payments made to mitigate impacts upon the dam, um, the dam structure itself um, that would result for the, from downstream development. 
So this public hearing was authorized by the Planning Commission on August 17th, 2016. Um, staff does believe this language is consistent with the, uh, the state regulations. Uh, we did provide in your packets excerpt from the state regulations. Um, and uh, this has passed through legal review um, for, for compliance in that perspective. Staff does recommend approval of this case this evening. Thank you, and I'll take any questions you may have. Thank you. Board members, do, does anyone have any questions? This is state mandated, so I guess it has to go. Am, am I correct? How long has it been a state mandate? Since 2008. Madam Chair, I did have one question. Yes, uh, Mr. Barnes. Uh, Jacob, so now this is now included. Is it currently included in our re review process? Has it been since it was mandated in 08 when we get an application to process? Have we been doing it up to now? I can tell you roughly a year or two ago, I know for sure it was. Okay. Prior to that time. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Not okay. absolutely sure. Thank you. Any other questions? All right. This is a public hearing, so I declare the public hearing open. And I don't believe we have anyone that's here tonight that would be speaking. So now I will close the public hearing. And uh, no one has any questions for Jacob? Okay. What is the desire of the board? I move for approval. All right. Do we have a second? second. All right. Let's vote. All right. Six yes with Mr. Newhouse absent. Thank you. Okay. Is that all you have, Jacob? All right. And that looks like it's all on the agenda. All except new business. Do we have any new business? No new business. All right. And I don't believe we have anyone here tonight, so we can go ahead and not have public comment. And do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Do I have a second? Vote. 